if you really want to hear about it, the first thing you would probably want to know is where I was born, and what my lousy childhood was like, and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me, and all that David Copperfield crap. But I don't feel like going into it, if you want to know the truth. Familiar faces. Mr. Caulfield, due to your inappropriate large amount of absence in your classes and the fact that you've flunked five of six subjects, I have no other choice than to expel you. I hope you understand this, because this is serious. I know. Boy, I know. The funny thing is, I couldn't care less, you know? All I wanted to do was get out of there and all. The place was just filled with phonies anyway. May I ask where you're going, young man? New York. I'm going to New York. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell. Suddenly I felt the urge to call someone, anyone, I just felt so damn lonely and all. Then suddenly I started thinking of my kid sister, Phoebe, and for some reason it, it put a smile on my face. I had to see her. Phoebe, my kid sister, she's always been the light of my life. She's very smart and all, and among one of the smartest people I know. She's very cute also, and very good at spelling. Boy, I like her. So why did you run away? Daddy's going to kill you, Holden. He's going to kill you. I know, I know. I just keep picturing these little kids playing in some, some game in the big field of Ryan all, and thousands of little kids, and nobody's around. Nobody big, at least. I mean, except me. And I'm standing, standing on the edge of some crazy cliff. What I have to do, I, I have to catch everybody if they start running over the cliff. I mean, if they were running and don't look where they were running. That's all I would do all day. I, I would just be the catcher in the rye and all. I know it's crazy. But that's the only thing I really wanted to do. Yeah.